Way back in 1894, a professor of languages at the Florida Agricultural College named Reverend Dr. C. V. Waugh wrote a song about Florida. He called the song, Florida, My Florida. He wrote lyrics to go with the melody of the old Christmas carol, Oh Christmas tree, oh Christmas tree. Children all over the state started singing Florida, My Florida as a part of their morning exercise at school. 19 years later, in 1913, Florida, My Florida became our official state song. The lyrics were about how beautiful Florida is and how proud people were to call Florida home. The song continued to be our official state song for 22 years. But in 1935, something happened to our state song. Something that never should have happened. Stephen Foster was a man who lived up north and had never even visited Florida. He had written a song many years before called The Old Folks at Home. The Old Folks at Home were like many of Stephen Foster's other famous songs at the time. The song had a very pleasing and catchy melody, but the lyrics were very offensive to African Americans. The song was about a former slave who actually missed his life on the old plantation where he was kept as a slave. Free people who had once been held in slavery did not miss that time or place at all. Not only that, one part of the song actually had a line that said, Oh darkies, how my heart grows wearily. I can believe they allowed that word in our state song. I can't believe it either. It's horrible. Do you know that when Old Folks at Home was a new song, it was performed by minstrel groups wearing blackface makeup? Minstrel groups were white men that rubbed black makeup all over their faces and pretended to be happy slaves, putting on shows for whites-only audiences. That's disgusting. Why would anyone change our state song from being about how beautiful Florida is to one about happy slaves that had offensive lyrics? We should show people the difference between Florida's first and best state song and this insulting song about happy slaves that somehow took its place. Let's show people the differences between the two songs, but I'm not going to sing those offensive racist lyrics. Good idea. Let's get our instrument and play the melody of all folks at home. But we won't sing well. Just play the melody and let people wish from themselves. We can put the original lyrics on the left side of the screen and the lyrics that they thought would fix the problem in 1973 on the right. Let's play it now. Ready? One, two. One, two, three, four.
Okay, we've got to do something. When I hear the words that say, Oh, dear ones, it reminds me of you know what the old words say. It just makes me angry. Just reading those words make me feel sad and mad at the same time. Yeah, it's not right to have a state song. Something that's supposed to make us be proud of the state that we live in. Be about happy slaves. Let's try to end this little show on a happy note. Florida first state song is very positive. I like that. We should play and sing that one. Good idea. Let's get our instruments to play and sing Florida My Florida. It's such a nice song about the thing that makes Florida a great place to live. People really need to know about this. Maybe we can inspire a change. To return our state song back to something that will make people proud. Do you really think we can make a change in something so big? All we can do is try. Maybe people will see now is the time to finally fix this. Absolutely. We have to correct this huge mistake the state of Florida made so long ago. Let's do it. Ready to play and sing? One, two, three. One, two, three. Well, now you know the story behind the song. Be sure to forward this video and send letters and petitions to our state representatives. Please help us make Florida.